In today's world of digital DJing, knowing your DJ software is just as important as knowing your DJ controller or DJ hardware. So let's go through all the functions in your DJ software that you need to know. Now while each DJ software has its nuances and differences, all of the major software are pretty much laid out the same. So let's start at the top here with the deck section. Now this gives you a representation of the deck section of your DJ controller or hardware and at the same time it gives you a representation of the pad section right here. So I can go ahead and click through all the different cue points right here seen on the pads on my DJ mixer. There's a actual pad section here in the DJ software and another really important thing that you want to look at in the actual deck is the fact that you can see the BPM of the song or the speed of the song where I can slow it down and speed it up. Then you also have your elapsed time which is how long into the song you've gone and the remaining time which is how much longer of the song that you have. These are very important to be aware of and something that you'll need to keep an eye on as you get better at DJing. Now below that and which takes up the majority of the screen on your DJ software is the library section. Now here we have on the right side the giant list of all of the songs in your library and then on the left of that we have our playlist or in the case of Serato they're called crates and what these are are a way to organize your music into smaller lists that make it a lot easier to find the exact song that you're looking for. Now there's not one way to do crates correctly or playlists correctly. Every DJ does a little bit different and it really depends on what kind of gigs you're playing but having the ability to organize your music into many different ways and just makes looking for the perfect record a lot easier. Next after the library section we can go ahead and jump into the effects. Now all the major DJ software have their own software effects meaning effects built into the actual DJ software that's usable on whatever DJ hardware or controller that you plug into. Now there's some more expensive DJ controllers or hardware that have effects built into the actual controller and those are usually a bit higher quality but the ones found in the DJ software are pretty much good to go and usable in most situations. Now here in Serato we have up to six effects that we can assign each of them just hit this drop down menu, select whatever effect you're looking for, be able to turn it on and off, select how much of the effect you want here and you can hide that panel as well. Really good to have in a pinch especially if you don't know exactly what you're plugging into or what the setup at the gig might be. At least you know if you like using effects they're always going to be there in your software. Now one thing that you don't see in Serato that is a part of your actual DJ hardware is a mixer section. Now if you're using Serato in what's called offline mode when you're not plugged into DJ hardware there is an actual mixer section but because we're using software in conjunction with hardware it's really not necessary to see that and it's a lot easier to just look down at whatever you're playing on and see the mixer section in front of you. So those are the major parts that you can find in pretty much all major DJ software and things that you need to make sure that you are aware of and you know exactly how to use and what they're used for. Once you get these things down, getting an understanding of DJing and how to use the hardware with the software becomes a lot easier. Now I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please be sure to give this video a like and if you're not already, subscribe to this channel if you're interested in more DJ content and if you're interested in seeing more DJ related videos, go ahead and click on one of the videos right here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.